everyone. My name is Anna Lisa Diaz and I will be your teacher for today. And you can call me Teacher Anne. Welcome to another day of having fun and learning signs. Are you all excited? Of course, me too. But before we start our lesson, let us have an opening prayer. For the Catholics, please use the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Father, come be with us today. Fill our hearts with joy. Fill our minds with learning. Fill our lessons with fun. Fill our school with love. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, everyone, please settle down. We are now all accounted for. Good morning and welcome to class. Have you remembered our lesson the other week? If so, let's have our review. Tell me. What do you see on the screen? Very good! A car moving. Well, how about this next illustration? You got it right. Trees blown by the wind. Well, how about this last illustration? Amazing! You got it right again. A horse pulling the calessa. People and objects are moving all the time. They move from place to place. They speed up, slow down, and change direction. Like the calessa moves because it is pulled by the horse. Or the motors mo make vehicles like cars, jeepneys, and buses run. A piece of rock on the ground will not move unless you pick it up and throw it away. That is what we call motion. People Congratulations! You got all the answers right! At this point, let us now proceed to our lesson for this day. What are the objectives of this lesson? 1. Identify the materials that blocks light. 2. Perform activities that relate the ability of a material to block, absorb, and transmit light at its use. Lastly, you are expected to appreciate light and its property. But before that, let us play a puzzle game first. Do you remember this game and an application on your phone? Yes, very good. It is called Four Picks, One Word. Let us try number one. I'll give you 10 seconds to answer. Very good. The correct answer there is light. See that you're doing great. Now, let's try question number two. Another 10 seconds to answer. Awesome! You got the answer right again. It's shadow. Doing great again. Now, let's give it a last shot. 10 seconds to answer again.
Wow, wow, wow! You got it right again. The correct answer there is strike. Are you guys have been warmed up? I'm going to present to you another illustration, but you have to answer the questions that I'm going to throw at you after. What do you think is the boy doing? Exactly. The boy is resting under the tree. Why did you think the boy rested under the tree? Because the tree blocks the light so that the boy can rest. But what would happen if there is no light? What do you think? That leads us to the question, what are the materials that blocks light? And what happens to the light when it strikes with these materials? Now, let's proceed to another activity. And this time, I'm going to let you gather the materials. First, you need a flashlight. Next, a wood, a tin can, an aluminum foil, and a plastic cover like that of a book cover. Question, what are you going to do with these materials? Now, you have to follow the next steps. You have to make sure that all materials are gathered and ready to use. The next step that you're going to do is to turn on the flashlight and test if the following materials block or absorbs light. Next, is you're going to record your answer on the table, put a check on the proper column if the materials blocked or did not block light. Yes! Job well done, guys! I see that you have learned a lot today. Always remember, class, that light always travels in a straight line transparent objects allow most light to pass through translucent objects allows little light to pass through while opaque objects allows no light at all to pass through and in addition to that if the light has been blocked Always remember that a shadow forms. It is when the light passes through an, an, ob an opaque object that blocks light. Lastly, dark colors may absorb more heat than light colors. Hmm, let us see what you have learned today. Now, let us proceed to our evaluation. Direction. You have to read each item very, very carefully and make sure your answers are correct. Good luck, guys! Directions. Write true if the sentence is correct and false if it is incorrect. Please read each item very carefully. Write your answers on the space provided before each number. Number one. Light always travels in a straight line. Is it a true or a false? Two, all opaque materials cast shadow. True or false? Three, an object's shadow is always the same size and shape. True or false? Four, the shadow also depends on its distance from the light source. True or false? And lastly, number five, true or false, wood is an opaque material. I hope you are done with our evaluation. And I hope all your answers are correct and all of the items you have passed. Oh, 
We are running out of time. Why not continue our tasks at home? I'll be giving you an assignment. Here is the directions. Read the situation very carefully. Answer the questions followed by the situation on the space provided below each items. Question 1. One afternoon, you and your classmates are walking to school. The sun is too hot. What materials can you use to block the sun's rays? If your answers are all right, then you will be given 10 points. Question number two. Your parents are constructing a house and they plan that your room will be installed a glass wall facing the east so that you get enough morning sunlight. You are afraid of lighting. What kind of glass are you going to use? And why? 10 points for this item. The answers to your assignment will be graded as Content or Thoughts, 5 points Organization and Clarity, 3 points Spelling and Grammar will be 2 points A total of 10 points each item with an overall total of 20 points. Good luck! Good luck everyone! I hope you enjoy our lesson for this day and hope to see you again next week for our next topic. This is Teacher Anna saying good luck, God bless, and stay safe.